as far as khadi is concerned my own practical experience is that the khadi board does not have a sufficient number of centers especially in the areas which are the most backward for instance in the sundarbans area which has only one crop a year and which is actually very poor and backward as far as industrialization goes we find hardly any centers either purchasing or training centers the other thing we note is that the individual who is spinning at home does not know where to take the yarn because there is no publicity or propaganda to help the individual spinners to go and sell their yarn with the result that although large amounts of subsidy are being given by government is not going to the help of the majority of those who are today wanting some form of cottage industry employment that is why i feel that it is very essential now that is being done on a national scale that government purchasing and training centers should be open in the areas which are most backward so that we may not notice this type of shortfall at a time when in every village to which you go the women especially the agricultural laboring women crowd round you and ask you how you are going to give them some form of employment the other thing i want to stress is the question of village industries this is especially a thing in which a certain amount of research is also required in these areas i am afraid nothing has been done although we approach the industries department again and again nobody in the village knows who is the competent authority to tell them how to approach government for help for research for the result of research for production centers for training or for marketing if we go to the sub divisional officer he is not able to tell us the whole thing is in such a state of flux hat actually the money which is being given is not being utilized by the people who are starving due to unemployment some of them have the technical skill also some are anxious to find new ways and methods of developing these industries yet that is not being done and i am afraid it is one of the biggest drawbacks of this entire ministry and it should be removed very quickly i think one of the reasons why this shortfall is taking place is the big difference and gap between the sums of money for which we are budgeting and passing in this house and its actual utilization and reaching the masses who are so fagger or employment and who are suffering from so much poverty due to unemployment i am in sympathy with the observations 
made by the previous speaker because as one who has been connected with one of these boards i have felt a lot of difficulties in expediting the work and spending the money allotted i feel that the whole organization does require modification so far as the organizational aspect is concerned it is known that the government's method of doing anything is rather slow and tardy the procedure is very difficult and prolonged and here we have to deal not with one particular section of the people or industry fixed at a particular place the whole activity is spread over the villages long distances and families whose condition the non officials are in the best position to know and appreciate here the secretary the deputy secretary or the under secretary is sitting in some office or the deputy minister or minister is sitting somewhere surrounded by secretaries and deputy secretaries he knows their point of view only he is obeyed with certain formalities etc he is not obeyed with the condition of the poor people and their difficulties are not realized so much as the difficulties of the secretariat that is the real problem and that has been to be tackled as a matter of fact the question of having a statutory body has been hanging fire for a long time the khadi and village industries board consist of a very good set of people who are very enthusiastic who are people with miserly zeal they have been doing this work all their life are on this board but they find themselves handicapped because they cannot function independently they are tied down by so many rules and regulations and all kinds of forms and formalities we must trust these people who have devoted their life to this work their main aim in life has been to work for these people it is high time that we made this body a statutory body i understand that such a demand had been made by them and i hear that even a bill had been drafted for that purpose i would like to know why nothing has been done so far in that direction and why it was ignored the government of india should take immediate action in this matter